Hi, I'm Doug Bauman, a chemist and an engineer with Syngenta Canada, uh, standing here today at the Honeywood Research Facility. Um, I was just asked the question about whether or not tank mix order matters. And the answer is, is that it absolutely, absolutely does. You know, in front of me, I've got an example, and we just shared it with some of the crowd today, how a simple three component mix of Roundup and Trivapro, where Trivapro has two components, A and B, that mixture goes from pure and clean when you follow the whales mixing order, that tried and true acronym that helps us understand how to mix a pesticide. But when you mix that up and you go the other direction, you know, I've got a sieve in front of me right now where not only is there residue on the bottom, but this sieve isn't even draining. And so as a chemist, this is really interesting to me and it's fabulous. But boy, is it expensive <laughs> if it was to happen to anybody else. And so what's actually happened here is that the Roundup is an ionic molecule. It goes into suspension as both the Roundup that we know plus a counter ion, normally a potassium salt. And what that does, if you add it first, as I have here on my left, is it really changes the water quality and adds to that ionic strength. So that when I add another product, in this case, Triva Pro A, that is a suspension concentrate, the presence of those ions in solution is what really hurts that Triva Pro A that hurts just about every suspension concentrate there is. And it causes the, the particles in that to collapse. Because the way that suspension concentrate is built is you have the particle of AI and it's protected by a layer of surfactant. When it then gets added to a solution in the wrong order, that protective layer collapses and then particle upon particle upon particle, they stick together. Now it's not a comment on one product or the other, it's a lesson in whales. To go back to the sample on my right, when you follow whales and put those products in in the correct order, you get the dilution you need, you give the AI particles, the active ingredient particles, the space they need because when they're further apart in the carrier and then that collapsing of the protective layer happens, when they're further apart, they don't crash into one another and you don't get this really unfortunate result that I, that I have on, on my left. You know, I really don't think that any grower has paid for elbow grease and I'd love it if when you have a good tank mix, you don't need to use any on the way to the farm and on the way back from the field.